not know, I am now married. If you guys have not seen my get ready with me for my wedding day, I'm gonna have it down in the description box. I am back though, and I'm so excited to be filming for you guys. But if you guys do not know, I have a vlog channel and I do upload there quite frequently. If you guys do wanna check that out, I'm gonna have it down in the description box. For today's look, I do a very dramatic grunge makeup look. At first, honestly, I didn't know like what kind of look I was doing, but I love the final results. Also in this video, I show you guys how I get sleek, straight hair. I really hope you guys enjoy this video, so let's get started. As you can see, I already have my brows on. Before I get started with my face, I'm gonna be straightening my hair. I'm gonna be using the Flow Hairbrush Vanity Planet Iron. Brushes in my household do not last, so it's kinda nice for me to have my own little brush that I know nobody's gonna touch because they know it's like an iron. So I'm just quickly brushing it out. You can obviously brush your hair while straightening it. I mean, that's like the purpose of it. When my hair is like really tangled, I like to go in before it's even on. So now that my hair is nice and brushed, I'm gonna now turn this on. I do like that this heats up from 170 to 370 degrees, so it is not gonna damage your hair as much as a straightener. I'm just gonna put this up to the highest though, just cause I wanna make this nice and fast, you know what I'm saying? I've been wanting to try this out for like ever. When I used to just like see it, I used to think it was just like regular brush bristles, but these are actually ceramic. They are not gonna melt. So I'm just going to grab the front first. I feel like my bangs are the ones that get the curliest. Like, I don't know if you can see this right here. My hair just goes up like a lot right here. So I'm gonna take my bangs and I'm just going in there to straighten it out. I really like that these ceramic bristles actually do give like a really nice healthy shine to your hair. Look how fast that was. It does help reduce static, which I really like. I just really like that I'm able to get like in these little corners. And then in this side, like I have these little baby hairs that like to curl. I think this is why I really like the brush because it gets like in those hard to reach areas with an actual like flat iron. Because it is a brush, it does not leave like any creases on your hair and it straightens it so fast. I could straighten my hair with this like in less than five minutes and I like that I'm able just to go over it and I'm not actually like burning my scalp. I like to also do this. I'm telling you my little baby hairs go like in certain directions so it always makes my hair split like very weird. I do have a little bit of hair so even for me it could take me like two minutes if I really want to do this quickly. I'm obviously going a lot slower right now because I'm trying to be as specific as possible and trying to explain how I use this, but it's honestly just super, super convenient. It gives you that really slick, straight hair. It's really easy to go in there and get those baby hairs. On this side, I just straightened my bangs, but I'm gonna show you how easy I can just straighten my entire half of my hair. I'm just going to go in and run the brush right through. This is like when I want to do my hair like super quickly and it still straightens the heck out of it. If you do have thicker hair and it's probably a little bit more curly, it's going to take you obviously a little longer, but this is like hands down for sure faster than a regular flat iron. And I do have a coupon code for you guys, so you guys are able to get this for 50% off, which is only $40. I'm gonna have that down in the description box for you guys to try out. But you see how fast that was? I'm literally already done with my hair. It's nice and smooth, very slick, very soft as well, so. I love it. So now that the hair is nice and straight, I am ready to beat this face. I'm super excited to do like a very dramatic look. So I already primed the eyes. I am ready to start with this eyeshadow. I'm thinking like a very dramatic plum. I don't know. So I want to take my Violet Voss Pro Palette. This is a ride or die. This is like a very huge palette, by the way. It does not look that huge on camera, but it is probably the biggest palette I own. <laughs> this one right here is really calling my name. I'm gonna probably have to start with a transition color first. So I guess we'll start with Erica, which is like a light, very light brown. So I'm gonna pop this on the crease with um, just a fluffy brush. I'm so excited to be doing this video because one, like I said, I have been gone for a minute, but I do have a vlog channel and I have been uploading there quite frequently. So if you guys want to be a little bit updated on what I do, you guys can check us out there. So now I'm going to go in with Amy. 
This looks like a very nice cranberry. I'm going to go right on my crease. This looks a little more pink on the eye, but we are going to definitely like deepen this up. So I'm going all the way to the inner corner and the outer corner. You don't want to bring this up too high either. Kind of bring it a little up. Especially with a color like this, if you go up really, really high, it can look a little funky. I am gonna go in with the big brush and blend the edges out just a little bit. Not just myself, but a lot of other YouTubers have come to realize that makeup tutorials, I guess, are not like as popular anymore. People are more into like seeing like reviews, trying out crazy products, but I definitely don't wanna like completely stop doing makeup tutorials. I'm gonna take this color right here. This is Cherry Cola. I actually used this color for my wedding. It's a very beautiful deep cranberry. I'm gonna take this on my crease and we're just gonna focus it on there. This is going to just really deepen up the eye. But like I was saying, I feel like makeup tutorials are not as popular anymore. I don't wanna stop doing makeup tutorials. I know I have not done a makeup tutorial in a minute, so I thought I would do something for you guys. And I miss it, I really do. I'm gonna take my fluffy brush again just to go over the edges. I know this looks a little crazy right now, but once it's all complete, I promise you it will look a lot more put together. I'm getting a little bit of fallout, but we can always clean that up after. So now for the eyelid, I'm gonna take this K-Pop Beverly uh, Super Shock Shadow from ColourPop. I did add a little bit of oil just because I feel like I have not used this eyeshadow in a minute and it kind of dried up on me. So I'm using this shadow as a base because I want the shadow I'm gonna put over it to really stand out. You can just go in with whatever shadow you'd like, but I feel like sometimes when doing this, it just makes the color pop a lot more. I'm not even gonna lie, this freaking eyeshadow is so dry, like not even oil is saving it. It's looking super, super clumpy. Now that we have the base, I'm gonna take my Makeup Geek Foiled Pigment in the color Enchanted. It's kind of like a burgundy, purple, I can't even explain it, but I think it's gonna look really pretty above. Now, my eye actually does look really crazy though, but I'm gonna go in and blend that out after. I love this because it's like a foiled pigment, so it feels like very buttery. Wow, you see how metallic that looks? Now I'm gonna go in with Carly. This is just a legit black. If you do not wanna go in with a black, you can just use like a darker cranberry or even like a dark brown. I'm going to pop this right on the crease. As you can see, it looks like super weird right now. It is kind of clinging on where I applied the ColourPop eyeshadow, but once you actually like blend it out, you're able to kind of get rid of that harshness. I'm gonna stop about halfway, kind of blend it in just a little bit but I don't want to bring the eyeshadow all the way to the inner corner. What I'm going to do is grab a uh, cherry cola and apply this right in the inner corner and blend this part out. And then I'll extend that and blend like right above the black. This looks like super crazy right now. I'm going to take that black eyeshadow and blend it slowly on the outer part of the eye just so it can look nice and diffused like on the eyelid. I applied some oil like underneath my eyes and I'm gonna take a wipe and just clean this up. I don't like to completely like clean up everything. I like to leave some shadow underneath because I know I'm gonna be like smoking out the lower lash line. The eyes are halfway done. I'm gonna start on my face. I'm gonna take the first Sally Unicorn Essence and I'm going to just apply this on my face. I don't really like to apply so much. I think two drops is just fine. And I'm just gonna go in there and apply this all over my face. For foundation, I'm taking the Makeup Forever HD in the color Y315. I've been using the liquid foundation a lot. I really love it, but I thought I would change it up today and use this stick. I like to just do a lot of lines on my face. Honestly, I really like a full coverage and I just like to go in with my brush. All right, so for my under eye concealer, I'm gonna be taking the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm going to cover my under eye circles with this. This is like one of my favorite concealers. 
take a little on the forehead, chin. With the same brush, I'm just going in and blending this out. I wanna know what you guys think about makeup tutorials. Like, do you guys still like watching them? Are you over them? Like, I wanna know what you guys think. I think now though with Halloween, there has been more people doing like makeup looks, which is so cool to see. So I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I'm gonna go under my eyes. I do like to go under my eye first and make sure there are no creases. And then I just go right up in there. Now I'm gonna take a big brush and just set my whole face. I'm just testing off like everything. So now to contour my face, I am taking the Bahama Mama bronzer. This is like an old bronzer, but a goodie. Like I actually really like. I'm gonna carve out those cheeks. And I'm gonna take this on my forehead and snatch that. It looks a little orange on the camera. I'm not sure why, but it's a lot more cool toned in person. I even noticed my eyeshadow looks like a little bit more red also on camera, which is kind of weird. I'm gonna also contour my nose with the same bronzer. I don't think I've actually used this blush in a while. This is a Too Faced Love Flush in the color Your Love is King. It's literally a purple. As you can see, it doesn't look that purple on the camera, and it's actually not that purple when you open it either. And it kind of matches my eyes, so. These blushes are like super pigmented, for sure, so I'm like, <sighs> kind of scared. I'm gonna take the Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion in the number one. This is like, as you can see, a pearl pink. I can't even explain it. It's actually very pretty though. Dang. That looks so nice. Wow. Apply a little bit on the temple. Not the temple, sorry. Above the brow. And then I'm gonna apply a little bit on the nose and keep it though. Before I get started on my lower lash line, I'm gonna coat my top lashes. I'm using the Pure Fully Charged Mascara. For my false lashes, I'm gonna be taking these Lily Lashes and the Style Caramel. I wore these for my wedding, and honestly, these are like my favorite lashes. They are super fluffy, very full, very dramatic, very long. All right, so for the inner corner highlight, I'm taking Flexitarian. This is a highlighter from ColourPop. I freaking love this. I use this a lot for my inner corner more than just like my highlight because it's so, so intense. Damn. I'm taking this Makeup Forever liner and just applying this on my waterline. And now I'm taking this Frankie Rose eyeliner in the color Seduction. I'm gonna smear this underneath the lower lash line. Ooh, this is so pretty. And I'm taking some of Cherry Cola and applying this while I like blend it out. I'm gonna take a little bit more Taking more of cherry cola, I'm just going to like blend the edges out. I'm just gonna take a clean pencil brush and blend out the edges of the lower lash line just so it could be nice and blended. Now that the eyes are pretty much complete, all I'm gonna do is take my mascara and coat my bottom lashes. Now I'm gonna take this NARS lip liner. I'm not sure what color is it. It kinda looks like a mauve, like gray purple. I'm gonna apply this just on the lips to line. And now I'm gonna take this Dose of Colors liquid lipstick in the color Desert Suede. So that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Also, like I said, let me know in the comments what kind of...